everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 272 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. This one is so beautiful. It is designed by Jenny over at uh, MessyMamaMakes.wordpress.com. This one is so fabulous. It m uses puff stitches, double crochets, single half double crochets, X stitches, like so many different types of stitches to make this interesting design. I have to tell you, it was quite a challenge for me, but it was a lot of fun. This square uh, design is called Big Gypsy Flower Square, and it actually is a pattern for a 12 inch square. Uh, but I ended on round seven today to make this around six inches for myself, but uh, you can go on to making rounds eight through 14 to make your square much bigger. I'm using four different colors today. This is Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Actually, I think I'm using five colors. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Five colors today. This is just a scrap yarn. The scrap was hiding behind my tablet. So <laughs> just scraps of yarn. This is a 10 ply size four worsted weight medium yarn. And I'm using all Red Heart Super Saver yarn. You can use any type of yarn you want though. I'm going to demonstrate this uh, square in an H size crochet hook, which is five millimeters. So make sure you have that handy as well as a yarn needle and a scissor because we'll be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends especially when we change color so often. And uh, before we start, I have to mention there are other links in the description of this video, so there will be a link to Jenny's pattern for the Big Gypsy Flower Square on her website, MessyMamaMakes.wordpress.com. Check out her website, she's got some really interesting designs on there as well, and free uh, crochet patterns, so get some inspiration from her. Also, there's a link to my Facebook and Instagram, make sure you join me on Facebook and Instagram, like my page, follow me on Instagram, and also share your photos! I have to see your photos of your puff stitches today, these are so cute! cute and puffy. Uh, this is a flat square, but I ha have to have to have to see your photo. So make sure you share your photo on the Facebook page. Just find this picture on the wall and share your photo in the comment section so I can see it on there. And then on Instagram, make sure to hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia so I can see their square there as well. You can Snapchat me. I'm yarn utopia on Snapchat as well. So you can snap me your photos, go check out my story and all that good stuff. And I have to say one last thing, a big giant thank you to my dad, Fouad Azmud, for taking the time to make these videos with us. He's our videographer, editor, and photographer for every single video that Yarn Utopia has. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you have a moment, click that I in the corner of your video here, or go to my channel on YouTube that, and click that blue support button. Support Yarn Utopia today in any way you can. No amount is too little, just so that we can keep bringing you fantastic crochet tutorials. And the big thank you to those who are supporting Yarn Utopia. You guys are wonderful. So now we can get started and make number 272 granny square. Let's start out by making a slip knot. So put your short end over the long end, then fold that down and then pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can begin. So let's start out uh, but with making a ring. So like I do every day, chain four, one, two, three and four. And then we're going to come to this first chain right here and we're going to slip stitch into that. So go in, yarn over and pull through and pull through that loop on your hook. Just like that. So that creates a ring. If you know how to start with the magic ring, you can start that way as well. But going on to round one, we're going to make a beginning puff stitch. So we're going to actually just chain one. Okay. And our beginning puff stitch it's a two loop puff stitch it's called. So we're going to yarn over, go in to the ring, yarn over, pull through, and one more time, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, pull up. So now you have five loops on your hook. Just yarn over and pull through all five of those loops, okay? That's a two loop because we yarned over, twi we did it twice, okay? So I'll show you again, we're actually going to chain one, Okay, and we're going to do a puff stitch chain one six times in here. So that was one. So now yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and one more time, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. So that was two times. So now we have five loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops and then chain one. So that's two. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all five loops, and then chain one. 
so that's three. This is four, chain one, five, and chain one, last one here, six. Okay, when you're finished, chain one and then slip stitch to the first puff stitch here. Okay, so not this chain one here. We're actually going to go into the puff stitch itself, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And there's round number one. Going on to round two, we're going to work uh, into these chain one spaces, so in between the puff stitches. So if you're not changing color, go on with me. If you are changing color, just fasten off here and start in any chain one space. So I'm just going to go into this chain one space, yarn over, pull through, and pull through, and then chain up one. Now for round two, we're going to do a three loop puff stitch. So we're going to yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and one more time, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. So now we have seven loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all seven of those loops, okay? And then we're going to chain two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And in the same chain one space, we're going to put another one of those puff stitches. So yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, and again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all seven of the loops on your hook, and then chain two. And now we're going to hop to the next chain one space right here and repeat what we did. So put a three loop, it's called in the pattern a three loop puff stitch. But basically there's going to be seven loops on your hook and then yarn over, pull through. The reason it's called a, a three loop is because we yarn over and go in, then yarn over, pull through three times. And then we're going to chain two. So one and two. So again, another one of those puff stitches, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. That's a once. Then yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. That's twice. And again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. That's three times. So then yarn over and pull through all seven loops and then chain two. Okay, so now we have to hop to the next chain one space and repeat that. So if you need to, just follow along with the written pattern. Otherwise, just do a puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch, chain two in each chain one space around. And then I'll meet you up for round three. When you finish this round, make sure to chain two and then slip stitch to the first puff stitch right here, okay? So not this little chain one here. We're actually gonna go into the puff stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, and through. Now, if you're not changing color and going on to round three, just slip stitch into this chain two space right here and then chain up three and go on to round three with me. But I'm gonna chain one here and cut this yarn and then pull that all the way through and pull tight to fasten that off. And I'm going to start, if you're changing color, you can start in any chain three, or I'm sorry, chain two space. So I'm just gonna go right in there, grabbing a different color pulling that through just like that, and then chain up three. One, two, and three. And in the same chain two space, we're going to put two double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. So again, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So now it looks like there's three double crochets into that chain two space because that chain of three counts as a stitch. Now for round three, we're going to chain one. So yarn over, pull through, hop to the next chain two space right here after this puff stitch. And we're going to work three double crochets in there. And we're gonna just work three double crochets into each chain two space. And in between those groupings, we're going to chain one. So yarn over and pull through. Then hop to the next chain two space right here and put three double crochets in there. One, two, and three. And then chain one. 
and hop to the next chain two space and repeat. So just do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for round four. Okay, when you're finishing round three, just chain one and slip stitch to the beginning chain up three here. One, two, three. Go right into there and then yarn over and pull through and pull through. Okay, at this point I'm going to fasten off and change color. Uh, if you're not changing color, just chain up one and go on to round four. I'm gonna chain one here and cut this yarn, pull this through and pull tight. After round three, you should have 36 double crochets and 12 chain one spaces. Now, in this next round, you can start in any stitch or any chain one space. I'm going to start where we fastened off and we're going to work in the back loops only. So you see in here there's two loops, two loops, okay, two loops. You can see this is the front loop facing the closest one to you. This is the front loop and this is the front loop. Then this is the back loop, okay, just like this, back loop, back loop, back loop. We are going to be working in the back loops only, leaving these front loops unworked and those are going to just give a nice effect, a little detail to our granny square. So I'm going to just insert my hook in the back loop of this chain up three here that we just um, slip stitched into. I'm just going to go into that back loop. I'm going to grab a new yarn here, hook it on my hook and pull it through, and then chain up one. Now we need to make 48 single crochets in total. So that is in each stitch and each chain one space working in the back loops only. So in the same stitch that we just attached to, we're going to go in, okay, then yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Just like that, that's a single crochet. So again, in the next stitch, in the back loop only, go in, yarn over, pull through, whoops, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, back loop of the next stitch, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Next stitch, this will be the chain one space, but you can just go through the back loop of that chain one right there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. Next stitch right here, back loop only, working in there, just a single crochet. Okay, we're just single crocheting exactly like this all the way around, no increasing, no decreasing, no special stitches, just a single crochet in each back loop only of each stitch all the way around for a total of 48 single crochets. So you can see here in the chain one space, don't go in the chain one. We're actually just gonna go in the back loop of that chain and make our single crochet, just like that. So we're just gonna do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for the next round. Okay, when you're finishing this round, we have to slip stitch to the first single crochet here, but we're actually going to slip stitch into the back loop only, okay? Because this next round, we are going to be working in the back loops only again, just like we worked this round. So what we need to do is go into the back loop of the single crochet, then yarn over and pull through and pull through, just like that, okay? So now going on to round five, we are going to chain up one, and in the same stitch, we're going to single crochet. So go in, then yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two loops. And do the same thing in the next stitch. Go into the back loop of the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now, in the next three stitches, we are going to put one half double crochet in each one of those. So yarn over, go into this next stitch in the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a half double crochet. So that was one, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's two, next stitch, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so that's three half double crochets in a row. Now we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, go into the next stitch in the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two of those loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops, just like that. That's a double crochet. Now this next stitch right here is going to get our corner stitches. So our corner is a double crochet, so yarn over, go into the back loop of this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. In that same stitch, we're going to work a treble crochet, so yarn over twice, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops on your hook. Now we need to chain two, one and two, and then we need to put another treble crochet, so yarn over twice, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops. Whoops, don't lose your hoop. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll do that again. Yarn over twice, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Sorry about that. Get it loose on your hook and you lose your stitches and lose your mind. Okay, going back into that same stitch, we're gonna put another double crochet. So yarn over once, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. So there is the corner. It's a double crochet, treble crochet, chain two, treble crochet, and double crochet, all in that same stitch. Now in the next stitch, in the back loop only, we're putting one double crochet, just like that. And then in the next three stitches, we're going to put a half double crochet in each one of those. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's one, next stitch is two, and the next stitch is three. Then the next three stitches get a single crochet each. So in this stitch, just go in, then yarn over and pull it through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, next stitch, single crochet, and the next stitch, single crochet. Okay, so there's three half double crochets in a row, three single crochets in a row, and now we have to put three half double crochets in a row again. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So that's one, two, and three. Then in the next stitch, we're going to put a double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then this next stitch gets our corner stitches again. I'll show you again, because that first one I totally messed up. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So it's a double crochet. We have to put a treble crochet, so yarn over twice, do the treble crochet, then chain two, one and two, then put another treble crochet, so yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And then double crochet in there as well, just like that. So there's your second corner. Now we're just going to repeat then what we did between this corner and this corner, all the way, and then make the next corner. So. Um, I'll show you again, I'll do it a little faster, otherwise you can just follow along with the written pattern or rewind this to see what I did here, but I'll show you again real fast here. Ha a double crochet here, then a half double crochet in the next three stitches, okay? Then a single crochet in the next three stitches, then a half double crochet in the next three stitches. Remember, working in the back loops only. Then the next stitch gets a double crochet, and then the next stitch gets our corner stitches. So that's a double crochet, a treble crochet, chain two, another treble crochet, and a double crochet. And there's your third corner. So just finish off this last side, last corner, and I'll meet you back up when I'm finishing this round, and then we'll go on to round seven. Sorry, I meant to say round six, but uh, we're finishing round five here. We just have to single crochet in this last stitch and then slip stitch to the first single crochet. So go underneath both loops. You can see front loop and back loop there. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through just like that. Now if you're going on to round six now without changing color, just chain up one and go on to round six. But I'm gonna chain one and cut my yarn because I'm gonna change color here. So I'm gonna pull that through and pull it tight. And now we're gonna work through both loops. Um, I'm just gonna start right in that same spot. For those of you who are not changing color, you can follow right along then. And it's gonna be super simple. We're just doing a single crochet round this round 
for round six. So just hook on that color, pull that through and chain up one, and then single crochet in the same stitch, working through both loops. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Then single crochet into each stitch to the corner. So working through both loops at this point, just like so, we're just going to be single crocheting into each stitch until you hit the chain two of the corner right here. So now in the corner, we are going to put two single crochets, one and two, then we're going to chain two, one and two, and then we're going to put two more single crochets into that corner, one and two. And now we're just going to single crochet into each stitch across the side, just like that. And then in the corner, we're putting two single crochet, chain two, and two single crochet. And like I said earlier, you can follow along with the written pattern linked in the description of this video. Otherwise, I will meet you up for what next is round seven. Okay, you just have to single crochet these last few stitches until you get to the first single crochet here. We're going to slip stitch in there, so go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And regardless if you're changing color or not, chain one and cut your yarn. Fasten that off, pull this through, and pull tight. Start your next round in a corner, chain two space. So right here, I'm just going to go in, and then I'm going to hook on my next color. Pull that through. And now I'm going to chain up, let's see here, chain up three. One, two, and three. And that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round. Now we're going to make these X stitches or cross stitches across this side here. We're going to skip this first stitch right here and double crochet into the second stitch here. So yarn over, skip this one, go into this one here, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we're going to double crochet into that skipped stitch that we just uh, skipped over and made this double crochet. So yarn over. You can go into the stitch and work around this double crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, just like that. So you worked around this post also. Then we're going to repeat that around, so yarn over, skip this next stitch, go into the next stitch for a double crochet, and then double crochet into that skipped stitch. So yarn over, go back into that skipped stitch, work around this post, you can see it's just laying there anyway, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And there, it's around that double crochet there. So those little X stitches. So then we're going to repeat that across. So yarn over, skip this next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and then double crochet into that skipped stitch. Okay, yarn over, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, and then yarn, double crochet into the skipped stitch. And then in the corners, I'll uh, actually I'll just show you because I'm almost to the next corner here. So I'm just making my X stitches across here. I think there should be nine X stitches in total. So let me count them as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven, eight, and nine. Awesome. So there should be nine here until we get to our corner here. If you have an extra stitch here, you can just skip it or you can double crochet into it. It's really up to you. I don't think it shows anything. Let's see here, double crochet into, nope, it doesn't say anything about it. So I'm just gonna skip that. We have nine X stitches across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in the corner chain two space, we're going to put a double crochet, then chain two, and then a double crochet, just like that. Okay, so then we're just going to repeat that around. So yarn over, skip this next stitch, double crochet in the next, and then double crochet into that skipped stitch, just like that. And then 
skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, and then double crochet into that skipped stitch. So you'll have nine of these uh, X stitches across until you hit the next corner, and in the corners we're putting a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. So I'll just meet you up when I'm finishing this round. I'll show you how to finish the last corner, and then uh, we'll go from there. So just do round seven, and I'll meet you up at the end of round seven. All right, when you're finishing this round, we still have to put a double crochet into that first uh, chain two space because it looks like there's only one double crochet in there from our chain up three. So yarn over, go into that first chain two space of that corner and make your double crochet. And then chain two and slip stitch to the beginning chain up three here. So go in, into the chain, there we go, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Now at this point I'm deciding to fasten off, so I'm just going to chain one and cut my yarn, and then pull that all the way through and pull tight, and I'm going to sew in my end. Now I highly recommend that you go on to making the next seven rounds, rounds eight through fourteen. You can follow along with the written pattern, and check out that photo that Jenny has in her uh, written pattern to see how the bigger square looks. Um, and if you are so inspired to make it, you can make a 12 inch square out of this design. So check that out and uh, make yours bigger. I'm going on to rounds eight through 14. But I just wanted to finish here. My square is as big as I want it to be. And there you have it. Number 272 Granny Square is complete. Thank you so much for watching every single day to make your Granny Squares. This is so fabulous and big thank you to Jenny over at MessyMamaMakes.wordpress.com for allowing us to use this pattern in our project. Thanks again for watching everyone. Check out those links in the description of this video. Share your photos on Facebook and Instagram. Snapchat me your photos. I'd absolutely love to see them today. So see you tomorrow. Happy hooking!